another month, another budget video. Hello, welcome back to probably the last budget video for 2022. I might also do a when I be get paid in December for January, obviously. But I don't know who wants to watch a budget video nearing the end of December. Who knows? I'll think about it. This month is an exciting one. I mean besides the mountains of expenses. Both Courtney and I have been extremely privileged and blessed to have both gone on a 13th check. This is how we decided to divvy up our 13th check. I'm actually gonna link below an article that says what you should do with your 13th check or your bonus or an increase if you get it this time of the year because a lot of us when we do get an abundance of money like this that we wouldn't normally have gotten we obviously want to spoil ourselves and buy the things that we need even though so we might still be sitting with a bunch of debt and I know this first hand because before Kurt and I started our debt-free journey when we got our 30th check we just went to raucous and even though we had all this debt behind our names we were like oh we need new techies and new this and new that so now that we kind of in our fourth year of giving over our 30th check I also told Courtney this should be our last 30th check we are giving over towards debt and like I said it's our fourth year so we're kind of used to it by now when the money comes in I was like with me. I just kisses our account and then off it goes. So we decided with this 13 check or the two combined we are going to split it in two meaning that two thirds is going towards debt and a third is going towards savings. So I am proud to announce that Courtney has officially paid off his first loan. I'm so happy. It's been touch and go given that we did such a lot of pauses throughout the year. So that's done and then I there's a little bit of money left in that two thirds but a lot of must have came along so that amount of money is currently just sitting in our accounts and I'm explaining to you in the extras of what's happening. Then the third we are splitting in two so half of that third is going into savings and that other half is going into emergency funds just so that we can bulk up again. As you know my savings is consistently always depleted for many reasons and I want to build my emergency fund as much as I can. The more the media. So there you go. Third is check done. Clap. Whoops, God. So let's talk about our normal salary. Courtney got paid a little bit extra, um, and I just got paid my normal stuff. And then for recurring expenses, as I've mentioned in the last two budget videos, food is just it's something else. And I've tried this experiment, and it's just like not working out. So Courtney and I decided that let's just let this year go by. And then when Courtney and I have our yearly review, which we have in December, and we look back as to what the mistakes were for this year what we can improve on in terms of those mistakes and what we should be doing for the year ahead we will talk about the budget for the grocery bill because we are using money from our check account in order to cover the groceries when the credit card is finished we'll have to look at ways but we're just gonna let this year slide because i've wrecked my brain on how to stick within this budget that we have and it's just not working so that's that petrol is going up by i think a rand again in december so i have to make provisions with that but for the most part i think it's fine for personal care i've gone up by let me just have a look almost 200 rand so that is fine but there were specials that was okay for policies they have stayed the same interestingly enough my investment policy people they found me already now to tell me that on the 1st of July, my policy is going up by 20% and if I'm okay with that. So yeah, interesting that it will be that high, but it is going to be quite a thing come next year if all my policies are going to go up by 20% and the cost of living is also going up. So it's something I need to think about and consider. For debt, we paid my surprise a chunk of money. It's still not completely done but we bought a few stuff at Mr. Price itself but I bought it cash because I was like you know what I mean rather just buy cash and not put anything on this account anymore so that we can get to a point with this account and then with my mom's thing I'm paying a double because I paused last month obviously Courtney's loan that we were paying extra or trying to pay extra on is now done so that's cool for savings there isn't an emergency fund and there isn't a savings since we put a significant amount of money in there from our 13th check and then we do have an access fund so that's great um, we actually put a little bit of money into the access fund just because you know it's coming December and we just want to have a little bit of money to kind of spend on some of the things that we're going to be doing for the festive season for subscriptions and fees those have stayed the same and then 
for extras it's quite a bit of extras so first and foremost i have to pay the last bulk of sauce it was touch and go there i was like why isn't my money of last month reflecting on my account statement and i was phoning the bank and i was phoning sauce and i was like where's my money like why isn't it reflecting but uh, there was a a whole process so it's done but i have to pay that and then i had a nice hefty pesky bowl since i've been to my neurologist there's a lot of blood work that i needed to do so i paid actually I had to pay on the spot which was interesting usually i get a, a statement and then they'll tell me to do it by eft but i had to do it right there and then my pills that i'm on specific pills that is about 550 rand out of pocket so i'm hoping when my medical aid kicks in let me see what portion they can pay and then there was a few things that we needed to have so number one i'm doing a santa shoe box for my friend who i don't know she's like part of this ngo so i decided to do that santa shoe box so i have all the goodies that i had to buy the other thing good thing i added onto our list was we want, needed to replace all of our undergarments. I find that this time of the year is the only time we ever think about replacing those items. They're quite expensive, I must say. I didn't think undergarments. Ah! Pricey! So we have that. And then there was a few decor e things that I bought. And then the biggest thing and why the second loan's money is kind of dwindling is because we knew that we had to replace a break. So that's not an issue in terms of like the money. Then Courtney was like, listen, the bearing or sounding very bad, which it is actually sounding really, really bad. Those need to be replaced. I said, okay. Then over the weekend, Courtney and I just came back from grocery shopping and we heard this crank and he was like i think that's a cv joint so there's a lot of cost stuff now that we have to replace hence why that money is kind of dwindling because i don't know what all of these things are going to cost obviously i made provision for the break and we do have a little bit of money that we could use if they had to replace these the bearings but now if he's talking about cv joint that's a whole nother other ball game so i'm hoping that it's not gonna cost as much as what i think in my brain a lot is going on i'm again super super privileged to have this little bit of extra money i'm very excited that we have one loan completely gone and we've got two more to go if you are getting a certain streak a bonus an increase just make sure that you are putting it towards debt now i understand that we all don't get me wrong we all deserve the best in the world and a lot of us got into debt because we had no way else of getting the money or you know maybe you have a bond and as we saw the repo rate has gone up multiple times this year and people are genuinely struggling to afford their bond repayments or even the vehicle financing and just the loans etc on this ripple effect of the repo rate so use your extra money to pay these extra burdens that you have i know we all want to have the luxuries and i understand because i remember when we just got our third is checking code and i was like can i get this and i said no sometimes i do dream about buying this thing here or there but in the long run like, i'm thinking long term this is gonna help us in the long run like we won't have debt and this is why i have something in my excel spreadsheet called a goal budget if my eyes start doing thing and i'm like oh but i should have this and that then i go to my goal budget and remind myself what my budget would look like without debt and just remember that it is the festive season now a lot of us want to just be part of the crowd we want to go here then everywhere but remember january is like 500 months in one month you need to keep that in mind especially if you have kids you know school uniforms school fees all of those things so don't go out there and trying to impress people when you don't have just remember that like i'm so happy my husband works until the end of the year and we only have literally a week together so we don't have to go out and do a bunch of things <laughs> which i'm very happy about but guys just stay within your financial lane like i said last month and i know we all want a party we all want to have the best time and you can and you can obviously do it with all the budget but don't go out and impress people when they might be able to afford it and you really can't but i hope you guys enjoyed this budget video let me know if you if you want me to do a budget video for january in december <laughs> i will do that for you guys and yeah i will see you in the next budget video bye